welcome to Logan Sounds Off, where I talk about books, music, and a whole lot more. I'm your host, Logan Kelly. Hello, welcome to Logan Sounds Off. Today we're going to be doing an album review on the album The Duckworth Lewis Method, written by The Duckworth Lewis Method. This was their debut album, released in 2009, followed by their Sticky Wickets album, released in 2013. The band members that I know of were Thomas Walsh from Pogwash and the founder, Neil Hannon, who is from the Divine Comedy. Neil Hannon now has his own show on BBC Radio Ulster, where he travels across the globe, sitting in his studio, listening to all the music, soundtracks and composers from different areas. My favourite song on this album would have been Jiggery Pokery. I also like the song The Age of Revolution, and I also like the song The Night Watchman. I liked with this album that it was to do with cricket, the whole idea was that they wanted to make a pop band that would have songs about cricket. Originally, when I listened to this song, this album, the only song I knew by them was called The Age of Revolution, which was the second song on this album. A week before their debut album was released, The Age of Revolution was a single that was released. The, the, this band, I just think, is amazing with the idea that they got Neil Hannon, Thomas Walsh into a pop band about cricket. It's amazing. I've been listening to this band for years and it's brought, it brings back some memories because I know with the Duckworth Lewis method, I used to listen to it a lot in a place called Koran in Mayo in Ireland since I live in Ireland. And I used to, I kind of think of that whenever I'm listening to the Duckworth Lewis Method or talking about it. So I really love that as well. So Thomas Walsh kind of is originally from Pugwash. I believe he was the lead singer. So he teamed up with Neil Hannon and they decided to make this whole band. I think it's an amazing idea. There was a couple of songs that I didn't, really like that much or kind of got overplayed for me like the age revolution but they're still good songs and i still think if i was a person and i never listened to this band before and i listened to this song i'd love it they've got some amazing instruments in this album i really like the drums and the guitar uh it's a 12 song album so it's not that big but it's not that small either They're not very long songs and they're not very short songs, so it's a very good album to listen to. You're never bored. There's some songs like Mr. Me and Dad, which are very um, get happy songs. And then there's some relaxing songs, like stuff that you listen to in in the evening, such as The Night Watchman. Jiggery Pokery included Shane Warren, which was this cricket player who would throw the ball so weirdly that it was nearly impossible to hit the ball and the umpire would um, he'd knock you out because of it. So I think I never knew about Shane Warren before I listened to this song. So there, there again, it's also teaching you stuff about cricket without you even knowing it. So uh, uh, average, it's a very good album. Very good album. Um. The next album that they released, Sticky Wickets, was very different. In a good way, it was good. It was very good, but it was different. It was different. There was singles for um, Sticky Wickets too. It wasn't one of those bands who had like one single for the first album and then had albums the whole way now. Um, I don't think the Duckworth Lose Method ever got that big because whenever I've listened to the radio or stuff, I've never ever, really ever heard them. They're a very good band though. A good amount of people know them. Um, usually because they listen to the Divine Comedy and Neil Hannon and then they come across this or the same with Pugwash. Um, but on average, I really enjoyed this album. 
I'm gonna give it a solid five stars simply because there were some good songs, there were some overplayed songs. But as I, as I said, if I had never known this album and I just listened to them once, if I could only listen to them once and they weren't overplayed, I would have loved this album. It's amazing. The songs on it, it gives you a good connection like Mr. Me and Dad. Meeting Mr. Me and Dad, that's about going to Pakistan in a caravan. What's that to do with cricket? I don't know, but for those who don't like sports or cricket, this is a very good album to listen to and it will educate you on the world of cricket. Now, that's all we've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed listening to this episode of Logan Sounds Off. You can follow me on X, Facebook and Instagram at Logan Sounds Off. And don't forget to subscribe and not miss any more cool episodes. Bye guys!